The mayor is leading the days and making some public comments as a citizen. I'm bringing the meeting over to you, Mr. Truck. Thank you. Fellow citizens, some of you have heard Mr. Neal's comment to one of the commissioners at the Lake Planning and Zoning Meeting. Some of you mess may also be aware of inappropriate comments and tapes on the internet, internet about officials of the city of Melissa, including myself. The comments and videos have been altered and doctored and are hurtful and untrue. Although I have my suspicions as to who did this, I have not taken action as of today. But they strike at the heart of the city, most importantly, the integrity of its elected officials. Our first reaction is to shake at those who have made those defamatory comments or acted illegally. However, after much thought, the city of Melissa will not stoop to those types of innuendos or disrespect its citizens. You must realize that I, that the hat I wear as one of a mayor, which calls for me to treat all of our citizens' business with respect and fairness, and we expect them to do the same to us. I pledge to you that when I was elected, and I have done my best to uphold these values throughout my time as an elected official, it is however clear that some individuals who do not live in our city are intent on trying to embarrass me as well as defame me and trying to bring me down. I want to publicly again state that the city and its elected officials and staff will not be intimidated, coerced, not to conform to the laws of the United States of America, the state of Texas, or the ordinances of the city of Melissa duly passed by its governing body. Two individuals who do not live within our city recently tried to coerce an ex-city employee who resigned to take care of her dying husband to make inflammatory comments about our governing body. Shame on them.